Day four was not such a beautiful day for the van build, but I had no choice but to continue. I had to run to Home Depot and pick up a few things, so wrapping everything in plastic and a tarp totally happened. And if you remember, we had previously tackled the subfloor in the back half of the van, so today's objective was to finish the subfloor in the rest of the van. Before starting that part though, some last minute finishes had to be taken care of. Near the wheel wells, there was still some exposed wool that needed to be covered up, so we measured and cut these small wood pieces to do the job. Once I tested both sides, it was time to screw them into place. So now that the back was officially done, subfloor wise, it was time to work on the rest. I started by tracing a line where the plywood needed to be cut in the side door area. That looks like it should do it. Then of course, we checked to see if that fit well. We also laid out this smaller piece of plywood on the left to make sure it was gonna be a good size for that section. To make this cut, we definitely needed a template, and cardboard was the easiest option. After measuring, checking, and checking again, we took our newly made template, along with the plywood, out of the van to make the cut. We stuck it back in the van, and it was perfect. By this point, the weather had cleared up a bit, so it was time to pause on the floor and begin our next big project, the bed. We took advantage of the break in the rain to go load up the purple mattress and bring it to where we were building. So once we got back, the first task was to measure and cut the posts for the bed frame. <laughs> Uh, actually. Okay. Well, make sure yeah. this side is on the, that's the pretty side. This is gonna be about It's about to get real. We're doing the bed. So here are the bed posts. There's gonna be six. Three on that side, can you see? Three on that side. And three on this side. And they're gonna be attached. Man, I'm getting busy spinning around. These are big ones. Well, I, well, I'm thinking you may only need two, but you need to leave the middle for where we're going to drill. Is this accurate? You just don't go too okay, far out there. Remember, we have to drill a hole this way, too. Huh? We have a hole to drill this way, too. Right. So once all of those were done, we got a piece of wood that was gonna run lengthwise of the bed frame. And then we attached one of the posts with deck screws. Next, we double checked to see where the posts nearest to the front seats needed to be. Put it right in the position you're putting it. Once that one was attached as well, just like before, we stuck what we had made back in the van to make sure that it fit properly. And at this point, we had already done the left side and we were just finishing up the right. After all of that, a hole was piloted through the post and the lengthwise piece so that we could bolt it together.
We then put both sides in the van and proceeded to attach the back and the front of the frame next. So here you can see exactly where the bolts go and then we also added some extra support in the middle. And then this is the finished bed frame. So thankful I had such knowledgeable people helping me. But yeah, this is where we call it a day on day four. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.